David, the Omaha Police Department doesn't close a case until an arrest is made. Right now, there are hundreds of open murder investigations, and oftentimes the key to solving them is getting people to talk. And if I see something and if I hear something, we're going to report it. Inside a church in North Omaha, a powerful message from the widow of a murder victim. Nobody in here should be having to go through what we had to go through, what we're going through. It's not right, and it's up to y'all to make the change at the home level. The family's pain is still raw just weeks after Army Sergeant Kyle LaFleur's murder, his father breaking down. Don't forget us in prayer. We're, we're still, we're still suffering to this. It's still. Oh, no. <laughs> still, baby. Oh. Many in this room know the LaFleur's pain. Nearly half the crowd has lost a loved one to murder. Could you please stand as we can actually see you, acknowledge you, and honor you? Thank you so much. The family is pushing a new campaign urging people to come forward with information they might have on crimes. Kyle's widow using their son as an example. Uh, he's five years old. He knows he better not go out here doing nothing crazy. If he sees something wrong, he better come tell his nana, his papa, his mama, uncles, aunts. That's what he's going to do because that's what we teach him. For one community activist, the new campaign brings renewed hope. We've been fighting this fight for a long time. Barbara Robinson's brother was murdered five years ago. His case remains unsolved. The LaFleurs want to change that. The community has come alive. Since Kyle's death, they're outraged. I'm just hoping that they'll come forth with some information on some of the other homicides. And again, that's Logan. If you see it, hear about it, report it. You'll start noticing the message across Omaha in coming weeks, everywhere from bus benches to billboards. We'll hear from Omaha's police chief about it coming up tonight at 1030. Reporting live, James Wilcox, KETV, Newswatch 7.